Gemma Mitchell was born and raised in Australia to English parents, who worked for the UK Commonwealth Office. After the parents' marriage breakdown Gemma along with her mother and sister moved back to the UK. Gemma shared a house with her mother and sister, in Willsden, North West London, the property was worth over £4 million, and had been owned by the family for several generations. The house was in a bad state of repair, and needed extensive works to be done. 2004, Gemma went to university to study for a human sciences degree. She excelled at anatomy, and at one stage had to dissect a human body, she was awarded a first-class honours degree. She then trained as an osteopath, returned to Australia where she set up in business as an osteopath. 2015, she returned to the UK but was not registered, so could not practice in the UK, she was unemployed. She became obsessed with the Bible, religion, and demons. 2016, Gemma had a bad relationship with her sister, and had a conviction for breaching a non-molestation order relating to her sister and brother-in-law, she was given a conditional discharge for the offence by North West London Magistrates Court. April 2018, Gemma Mitchell was one of the congregation which gathered for divine healing at a North London church. Making her way to the front of the hall in Hampstead Garden suburb, Gemma announced to the 300 evangelical Christians present that she wanted to be exorcised of her demons. As the pastor leading the service placed his hands on her head, she began to shake and cry, then screamed hysterically before falling dramatically to the floor. August 2020, Gemma met Mi Kyun Chong, also known as Deborah Chong, at a church they both went to. The pair were both very religious, and Mitchell had become obsessed with demons and exorcism, and picked on Deborah to practice. Described as having a sweet and childlike nature Deborah, who was originally from Malaysia had been in the UK for 30 years. She had mental health problems, and was on antipsychotic medication for paranoid schizophrenia. Friends later reported that Deborah believed that Gemma Mitchell was curing her illness with spiritual healing and exorcism. Her mental illness left her believing she was having a relationship with Prince Charles. Before her death she had been exhibiting unusual and erratic behaviour, and was referred to her local community mental health team for sending letters to Prince Charles and Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Mitchell and her mother planned to make improvements to their house, adding another floor to the house, but were cheated out of £230,000 by two builders they had hired for the project. Deborah Chong agreed to give Mitchell £200,000, but Chong later withdrew the offer, and urged Mitchell to sell the house and enjoy the money instead. The 11th of June 2021, Mitchell travelled to Deborah Chong's house in Wembley, North London, carrying a large blue suitcase. Gemma Mitchell killed Chong and put her body in the suitcase, breaking Chong's ribs in the process. Mitchell also stole documents from Deborah Chong's house, and along with documents stolen from a recently deceased neighbour, she attempted to use them to forge a will leaving the bulk of Chong's £700,000 estate to herself. Deborah was reported missing by her lodger on 12 June, when Mitchell was questioned by police as to Chong's whereabouts, she said Chong had gone to stay with family friends somewhere close to the ocean, as she had been feeling depressed. Mitchell kept the suitcase containing the body in the garden of the house she shared with her mother for two weeks. The 26th of June 2021, she drove 200 miles to Salcombe in Devon to dispose of the body, and dumped it on a woodland path. The 27th of June 2021, the victim's headless body was discovered by a family out walking. The 1st of July 2021, a police search found the head four days later, around 33 feet away from the rest of the body. Chong's body was too badly decomposed to determine a cause of death, but a post-mortem found that Chong had received a fracture to the skull. The 6th of July 2021, Gemma Mitchell was arrested on suspicion of murder, during questioning she answered, no comment, to all questions. The 10th of July 2021, Mitchell appeared at Will's Den Magistrates Court charged with murder, and remanded into custody. The 11th of October 2022, trial starts in courtroom number 12 at the Old Bailey, Mitchell pleaded not guilty to the charge of murder. The 27th of October 2022, 
After seven hours of deliberation the jury found Gemma Mitchell guilty of the murder of Mi Kyorn, Deborah, Chong. Friday 28 October 2022, at the Old Bailey in London, Gemma Mitchell is sentenced to serve life imprisonment, with a minimum 34 years behind bars. This was the second case where TV cameras were allowed into the courtroom, to protect the jury and witnesses only the judge was filmed. Mitchell is eligible to apply for parole in October 2056. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.